So Bitcoin's market cap has recently hit one trillion dollars, which is awesome. But what does that actually mean for the investor? And does that mean that Bitcoin has potentially the chance to overtake gold as the number one asset by market capitalization? In this video, we'll be covering what market capitalization means for cryptocurrencies. We'll also be covering what it would take for Bitcoin to actually beat gold in terms of market cap. And most importantly, can Bitcoin be the new digital gold, which is the number one question I think on most people's minds at the moment. If you're totally new here, then do hit that subscribe button to get more videos on investing in cryptocurrencies and give the video a thumbs up as well if you really enjoyed it. With that being said, let's have a look now at the actual differences in market capitalization from stocks compared to crypto. So actually with cryptocurrencies, a market cap is defined by the actual price of a cryptocurrency times by the circulating supply of the cryptocurrency. The key thing in this formula is the circulating supply because actually if the coins are not circulating then it's not something we can count towards the market cap of a cryptocurrency. Gold's market cap on the other hand is simply the amount of gold that there is available or the access of gold there is times by the price of gold. So actually this indicator of market cap does give us a really good indication of how much investment there is in a particular space. Gold has been around for a very long time so there's a lot invested in the space of gold whereas cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin in particular is of course a very relatively new concept you know within the last 10 years or so. So what would it take for Bitcoin to beat the market cap of gold and really be seen in the eyes of the people as the most valuable asset there is today? Of course this could be really good news for you as an investor because if you're somebody that has invested in Bitcoin in its early days where the market cap is only 1 trillion, if for example Bitcoin was then overtake gold's market cap of about 11 trillion dollars then that would be really great because we would have been able to really benefit. So proof is in the pudding here. Gold's market cap at the moment is 11.326 trillion. These numbers are huge guys. And then we've got Bitcoin down here as 1.067 trillion. So actually the market cap of Bitcoin, interestingly enough, is greater than Tesla, Facebook and Alibaba and some major companies like Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. Did a recent video actually appear on Warren Buffett's investing advice, which is really useful by the way. So if you haven't checked that out, do go ahead and do so here. But with that being said, we can actually just have an idea now of what it would take for Bitcoin to pass gold. So we're going to pull out the calculator and just do a little bit of simple math. Now the current market cap of gold and Bitcoin compared, the market cap of gold is actually 10.6 times that of Bitcoin. So in order for Bitcoin's market cap to overtake gold market cap, currently the price of a Bitcoin would need to actually increase by this number on the screen here, 10.6. 6148%. So let's go ahead and do that. We can see here that the current price of Bitcoin is 57,368, which is incredible, by the way. Literally, it felt like just last week, and it actually was just last week that Bitcoin had pushed past 50K. So the price is actually been soaring. So incredible there. But let's have a look. So we're going to do our 10.6% times by the price of Bitcoin. So that's 57,000. $368 and that amount means that for the market cap of Bitcoin to actually overtake the gold market cap and this would mean no current investment into like gold for example and um, so very hypothetical but one Bitcoin would need to be worth $608,950 which is absolutely insane. Now this might seem absolutely crazy but the thing is is that actually if we look back over the last year Bitcoin's price has absolutely done something like this before. We can see here that from the price of Bitcoin and um, the 13th of March as of last year, the price was only £3,300 for a single Bitcoin. Would have been a great time to invest, right? However, with that being said, today the price of one Bitcoin in British pounds is £41,142.77. That's an increase of 449.48%. So to actually think about the increase going, look, that's like more than tenfold, you know, from 3,300 to, to 41,000. If that was to happen again in the next year, 
then that could really easily take the value of Bitcoin to really border that of gold and potentially even beat gold as the number one soaring value today. I've actually seen many price predictions of Bitcoin going up to $1 million, actually even $10 million over the next couple of decades or so. And that would be something incredible. I mean, do I think that could happen? I mean, absolutely nothing's impossible and we're going to deep dive exactly really some of the reasons why gold or bitcoin could potentially be that store moving forward it's a great place to say here by the way that if you're brand new to the world of investing in cryptocurrencies and you'd love to learn more about it then make sure you go ahead and check out this video here it talks about how you can actually learn cryptocurrencies I do understand that when you're new to cryptocurrencies, it is a lot to take in. It's pretty much a new technology and it would be like actually trying to understand what the internet was back in the first days that it came out. Imagine never having access to a computer and it never even existed and somebody telling you what a website is and that you can actually shop by clicking on buttons online instead of going into the mall. That's pretty much what we're having to get used to today. So Bitcoin versus gold. First things first in terms of similarities, both are a definite store of value. People put their money into Bitcoin and gold because they believe that it's something that's going to increase over the long term. That's what it's all about in the end. Gold has a track record of over 5,000 years. So we can see actually that gold is something that people really, really do tend to like. Looking actually at our prices up here of gold, we can see that over the very long term, it definitely, definitely has increased. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is something that has only really existed for the last 10 years. So in terms of its actual newness, this is something that people are actually quite unsure about because it's new, like most things, is it something that's here to stay? Is it something that's here to go? But actually 10 years, I would say, is a long time to be around. And really now the adoption for Bitcoin is picking up. Massive institutions are jumping on board. We've seen Tesla with his big investment. We've got investment fund managers like Kathy Woods being really, really excited about Bitcoin. And also we're seeing Bitcoin ETF being adopted and many things that are looking positive for the space of Bitcoin. Also, a really big thing to take into consideration is that Bitcoin supply is definitely limited. And with that being said, many people have said that, you know, the reason they want to invest in gold is because it's scarce. And I do agree with that to a degree. I am an actual investor in gold myself. However, there is a downside with gold because even though, yes, it is rare, it's scarce. The only thing about that is that actually every single year there are companies mining for gold finding gold and increasing the supply of gold. Of course, as the supply increases, it does mean that it's potentially less valuable. On the other hand, when you've got a fixed value of a Bitcoin, it means that the supply cannot be inflated. You can't make more Bitcoins. And because of that, when something is very much scarce and has a definite scarcity, it does make it more valuable because, you know, you can't just like get more Bitcoin out of nowhere, there is a certain amount. And if you have it, great, you know, people are going to want to bid more for that Bitcoin that you have because there's only so much to go around. So it's a really key concept. And that in itself is what I think is so unique about Bitcoin. It's based off human nature. There's a book called Influence that talks about the human psychological effects of scarcity. And that is why Bitcoin, I just think has such a powerful effect because people know this and everybody wants something valuable that's in the scarce supply. And the last point that I really wanna make here is that I personally believe that in this circumstance that we're in, in today's environment, that Bitcoin is much more easily transacted than gold itself. Now, we do know that Bitcoin is very slow for transactions. Now, the thing about that is that what you're able to do with Bitcoin is to convert it into other cryptocurrencies very easily on platforms like Coinbase, for example, and then use those cryptocurrencies that have much faster transaction fees to quickly make payments. So that's something that is definitely, you know, a counter argument to those that say, you know, Bitcoin is slow for transacting. And that's actually one of the good things about Bitcoin because it's slow for transacting, that makes it a good store of value. You know, why spend your Bitcoin when you can hold it and just see it increase over time as well. On the other hand, how many places do you know that are able to kind of accept gold as a form of payment? I mean, I've never been able to do it. Um, even to actually physically own gold is something 
that is, you know, not wished by many people. And how do you know that that gold is actually pure when you do have it? How are you going to do that? So I don't think it's that practical to actually be trading gold. Many people don't do that in terms of like the physical gold itself. Um, but Bitcoin definitely, I do believe, has a one-up on gold in terms of that as well. We've also seen companies like PayPal now actually accept and integrate Bitcoin onto their platforms. So with this kind of adoption, you know, it's pretty much very positive signs for Bitcoin. Now, although what I've said does probably seem like it favours more Bitcoin over gold, but I do have to say gold has historically been a great form of value. Is it something that I can see doing well over the long term? Let's hope so. The one thing about gold that is potentially quite threatening is that if for any reason we do happen to find a lot of gold, it really does impact the price a lot because it's not got a definite scarcity. And that's just one thing, and especially with the actual increasing speed of other cryptocurrencies in terms of their payments that you can quickly convert Bitcoin into other crypto assets that I think Bitcoin may actually very much be a digital gold moving forward. My thoughts on this is that I personally hold both of them just as a hedge, just to further diversify because in the long term, you know, I do have a very good beliefs for Bitcoin. Um, but, you know, who knows, there could be something that I am not familiar with or nobody's familiar with, like a black swan event that could completely like have a detrimental impact on Bitcoin and then people would rush to gold. So having a bit of gold is also a good thing just to be able to make sure that I've got access to different asset classes. We can see here that actually in the minute Bitcoin is pretty much being deemed as the physical gold because there's a big, big rush going on at the moment for institutions to really get as much Bitcoin as they can you know, they don't want to be left behind and they know that the supply is scarce. The only thing that could potentially have like a downside to the Bitcoin space would be maybe regulations that come into place that negatively impact the actual processing of Bitcoins and the way that it functions in our society. Or maybe it could be like a technology threat that we have no idea about. And that's one of the things. Yes, we are in really exciting times at the moment. Anybody that has held Bitcoin over the last couple of months or years really does know that they will be in a great position from a financial standpoint but at the same time the crashes for bitcoin can also be something that we do have to take into consideration but realize that this is a part of the game of bitcoin and actually what we're seeing is that every time there is a crash that the lows are higher than the previous lows before so this is all positive news for bitcoin Let's see, the only way to kind of find out if this will continue is just to wait the test of time. But from that perspective, my overall answer in that, can Bitcoin be the new digital gold is yes, I truly believe it can be. And I think that's the overall consensus in the marketplace as well. People are seeing that Bitcoin has that use value to be a store of value and it has much of the positive traits of gold as well, but if not more positive traits of gold, so it's only just a matter of time to really see how this rides. Really curious to know, have you invested in Bitcoin yourself or any other cryptocurrencies? If you have, let me know what cryptocurrencies you've personally invested in. And if you'd like to see more videos on Bitcoin and the crypto landscape, then do let me know what kind of videos that you would like to see. I'm absolutely in love with researching the crypto landscape. So with that being said, that's everything on this video. If you like the video, go ahead and subscribe. And I've got a couple of videos on the screen here for you that will be really, really helpful for you to better understand the world of crypto and investing as well so that's everything for me guys hope you have an amazing rest of the day and i will see you in the next one